Right lads, the new F1 game has just been revealed, F1 22. I did not decide to... I, I, try, I was going to react to this old premiere thing they had, um, but then it just wound up being like a tiny short thing. This probably won't load, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to quickly reload that. But it's basically like a 30 second in trailer short, nothing, mainly just saying that it's coming out on the 1st of July. Uh, you can pre-order it now, I am will, will pre-order it eventually. But um, it's coming out on the 1st of July, a little bit earlier than I was expecting to be honest. I was more expecting, you know, around about the middle of July, but I more expected the cam calendar's not gonna work there. I more expected, like, well, wait, let me see my calendar. I was more expecting kind of like the week beginning the 11th of July is what I expected. Uh, but no, it's coming out uh, once for the second year in a row. It's coming out on the weekend of the British Grand Prix. Oh my God! Wait, this comes out. This comes out literally right after I get to Norway, Bruh, I not even no single word of a lie. I get to Norway on the twenty eighth of June. This is releasing on the first of July. Wait, and last year, wait for twenty one. It was, for 2021, wait a minute, I'm gonna first of all move my camera. Bruh, why? Cody's, what are you, oh, what are you doing to me this week? That week's gonna be fucking interesting. So I'll get into looking at this in a minute. Not even, so 20, the 2021 game, that released uh, normally on the 16th of July, but there was, um, if you pre-ordered the, if you pre-ordered a server, if you pre-ordered the deluxe edition, then I believe it unlocked on like the 13th. Um, oh, for me, I had to go access, it actually unlocked on my Steam at night on the 12th, I remember. But it unlocked a few days earlier. If they do that again, then it, if they do that, have that again for this game, where you feel like pre-order a deluxe edition or something, then it'll unlock a bit earlier. If that happens, then it would, like, legit probably unlock on, like, the 20th. But 1st of July, I am, this comes out literally days after I get to Norway. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's maybe just this made made the decision for me on what I'm doing for the for season seven of my team. I think, oh God, I don't know what to do for my team. I need to decide now for my team stuff. Will there be one more season or two more seasons? Oh God, I need to try and decide this. There might just be one more season, you know. Season seven might end up being the last one. Might be, you never know, we'll have to, but I'm getting off track. Let's take a look at this. I'll link this down below. This is on the EA website. Enter the new era of Formula 1 in EA Sports F1 22, not 2022, but 22. The official video game of the 2022 FIA Formula 1 World Championship. Take your seats for the new the new season as redesigned cars, overhauled, an overhauled rules, redefine race day. Ted, that is me, to a little bit of interest in redefine race day. Ted's with skills around the new Miami International Autodrome and get the taste of the glitz and glamour of Formula 1 and F1 life. What the fuck is F1 life? <laughs> Hang on. Oh uh, yeah, it's releasing on the 1st of July, 2022. Including how to get early access and special pre-order content. Oh, the, it, it's gonna get, this is gonna get interesting. I'm not, oh my god, wait, oh, I'm traveling that day. I'm traveling that day. Oh my god, you cannot write this. I'm traveling to Norway that day. I literally, I'm on the boat on the 27th of June, heading down to Aberdeen. Then I've got a flight to Nor to, to Nor an airport in Norway. I've got like a five and a half hour layover. Then I've got a flight to a different airport where my dad's gonna be picking me up. And that flight doesn't that flight doesn't land till like quarter to eight at night Norway time. Ah! Anyway, I'm getting off track. Anyway, my rant about timings and days aside. Let's move on. What's the new? New season, new rules. Take your seat for the new. I need. I need to move my. I need to move my camera again. Yeah, that'll be. That'll be fine there. Whatever. Okay. Um. New season, new rules. I hope my. I think my webcam would be a little bit too low. Uh. Yeah, that'll be fine. New season, new rules. Take your seat for the new era of F1 with, with the sports stunning new cars, a new handling model. Oh God. That recreates the intense wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing that's had us on the edge of our seat so far in the 2022 season. Plus, test your talent amongst the iconic Florida palm trees around the 19 challenging corners of the vibrant new Miami also drama and go flat out as F1 Sprint comes to the game for the first time in 22. Oh, you get, you actually get, you actually get to the F1 Sprint races are there. That is, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. Uh, race day redefined. Okay, that's good. I was interested when I first saw it. 
new race op options in F120 will give you more control over your virtual F1 race day with the opportunity to choose between immersive and broadcast style formation laps, safety car periods, and pit stops. Wait, that's not something I saw coming. So basically, for pit stops formation, we can have the safety the formation lap on. We could make it like more like broadcast immersive. Um, and the safety car periods and the pit stops, all oh, the also also good VR capability. I don't have VR, so I don't really care about that. Might be cool to get VR someday and try this game on VR. But that's got me interested. That has me interested. Um, we can go. I'm. It, I cannot wait to see what this all means. With like more control over, if we could control our teammate strategy, that would be absolutely brilliant. Then that would be incredible. And just like control, like if the safety car comes out, get them into the pit lane. Like look, we lost in on um, the, I believe it was season four in Bahrain. We lost a one-two that way because um, I stopped. A safety car came out. I made my second pit stop, but Leclerc stayed out. And then he lost a load, so he went, finished in P8, I believe, or P, he, he finished P6 or P8 in the end. Um, but he could have been a 1 2, you know, but he missed out in that safety guard with a badly timed safety guard. He did not pit. Pardon me, but that's got me interested. A uh, race day redefined. F1 Life, here we go. That's what I wanted to find, but that's what I'm curious about. Get a taste of the glitz and glamour of, of F1 in F1 Life. A new space for you to unlock and show off supercars, clothing, accessories, and more for the world to see. I saw a rumor about supercars in this game a few months ago. I saw a rumor about this in an article. Someone in an article I read, I forget the article, uh, but someone said about apparently there being supercars in the new game. I didn't quite know if I should believe it or not, but bruh, no way. Fucking EA coming into the game at the moment. It's looking not so bad, uh, but we will see long term. I can't. I want. I there's so much here. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing returning features. My team and career mode return in F122 with fresh new features, along with two players sc split screen F2 online multiplayer and all features you know and love. Okay, perfect. No so story mode this season by the sounds of it, which is that's fine. You know they can they might come back within 2023. So they had it in 2019, nothing in 2020. Was it a bit in 2019, nothing in 2020. It was back for 21, not here for 22. There maybe might be something bigger and better in 23. Um, yeah, a pre-order is available for pre-order, especially Miami-themed content and content pack livery featuring suit cap. I will go blah 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 blah. Um, the F1, yeah, F122 Champions Edition on track early, three days early access, meaning play to start 28th of June. I will be traveling that day, unfortunately. Yeah, 28th June, I'm traveling. So, unfortunately, no F122 video on the 28th. It'll be the 29th, unfortunately. But I'll try and get it up early. There's probably gonna be quite, I can tell, I can, cause like, there's a thing, as I said, I'm gonna be traveling all day. I won't have a chance to get a video done. Um, I am gonna try and get, the, I will try and, I, I can tell you this now, I will be getting a video up as early as I possibly can on the 29th of June, um, because I can. Um, anyway, we go. Anyway, more to go. We're going into more features on the new. Fe we'll be going into more details of the new features in F122 in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, we've got some pictures here. Nice. Um, I might need to. Move. You know what? It's fine where it is. Got the. You can see the Alfa Romeo there. The McLaren. Oh my God. The, the McLaren looks worse. The, the McLaren looks worse in the game here. Oh my god. Uh, the Ferrari looks amazing. I, I see a small error though with the Ferrari. They don't have the outline on the, around the numbers. They're better. I hope that that will actually be not file a car model. I should hope so. I hope they add in the outlines around the numbers on the Ferrari cars because uh, and the reality you'll notice signs of the yellow outline and 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 uh, Leclerc has a white outline around his number. Um, Cockpit cam, nice. Um, I'm interested to see what the FOM car is. I've headed over the Steam here, see if there's anything else on here. Oh my god, 70 quid for the freaking Champions Edition, my god. Um, so let's see, um, Adaptive AI? A new AI system for less experienced players that keeps you competitive in each race. That has me intrigued. That has me intrigued. Because 
adaptive AI. Are the AI finally going to be a little bit more consistent from track to track and even corner to fucking corner? There's some corners where there, maybe I'm just bad at certain corners. The AI seem god tier at some corners and some tracks. Adaptive AI, that's got me intrigued there. My team, of course, stays. Um, career mode stays. Formula 2 stays. Earn me, Jesus Christ, F1 life. There's supercars now, it seems, in the game. Um, yeah, there's a lot here. Uh, but this has been me kind of reacting, I suppose, to the, uh, the freaking F122 um, reveal, I suppose. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to this game. It's going to be good. I am so looking forward. I'm looking forward to this. I know exactly what I'm doing after I get to Norway. That's for damn sure. And that's playing this game. It's a shame that I'm... It's kind of unfortunate timing, I suppose. That I'm traveling the day that early access starts for this game. Um, but what can you do? You know, it's, it's, these things happen. I'm, I'm looking forward... To be honest, I'm looking forward to traveling as well. Because I haven't been to Norway for... I haven't been to Norway since 2020. I'm looking forward to going back. Um, but it's just unfortunate that I won't be able to do any con any make any F122 content on the day that the that you'll get access to it for the Champions Edition because that's the the Champions Edition is the one I'm going to be pre-ordering. Um, so like I'd get access to it on the 28th of June, but I can't make any content on it on that day because I'm traveling. So I'll have to wait till the 29th. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go. So for now, thank you for watching. Uh, by the way, my team Japan hopefully up later tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow, I swear. Um, but yeah, thanks you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all those stuff. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.